hello guys this is the walkthrough of laser admin and let's get started so firstly let's start with an map scan we have an ip address which belongs to this website which is a default apache 2 page so let's start with an map scan and map dash s3 and the ip address so tell the time in map is running let's even use go buster so go buster dir dash u the ip address but this time rather than the ip you need to type the host which is url this is the url and we are going to use go buster which is to brute force different directories over here so this is the url and the word list is usr share word list dir and then common.txt <coughs> So we are trying to find out different directories and open ports in this place. So two ports are open. One is SSH and other one is Apache. Okay, so the Apache one is running. We can clearly see that. So now let's look, is there any other place where we can connect? So there is a directory name as content. So let's go there. Oh, so nice. See, we have welcome to Sweet Rice. Thank you for installing Sweet Rice. And okay, so we can look for pre existing, uh, like pre existing exploits over here. So there might be some vulnerabilities. So exploit DB. And in exploit DB, let's search for Sweet Rice. So sweet rice. Yep, we have so many of these. So we can also use search exploit. It's the same thing. Yeah, and then sweet rice. And we have this list. Okay, so let's just use that. So is it just the same thing? So okay, so this site is building now please come later okay so which one should we use so let's use among the latest ones which are these four one is arbitrary file download so arbitrary file download is i don't think there's anything which we can do with that let's again run cobuster the that time with this url with the added extension to it this one yeah let's just run the go buster again it's okay so this one is too old this one is too old this one is not of much use this could be of use yeah arbitrary file upload and this all of this has not it's like finding bugs and all in the website so these two are the ones which i think look good so let's go there cd usr share exploit db exploits then where is it php web apps okay now let's cat out both of these let's do arbitrary file upload so that's 40716 40716 dot py it's py yeah so arbitrary file upload so after uploading the file it will be okay so the see after using this the uploaded file location is http host and then there is a directory name as as and there is the name okay so there is a directory name as as oh so good we are inside not fully inside but you at least have an account number and a password so that's good so wherever uh, okay so i will find my file in the as directory okay so these are the results for the go buster there are these pages like as attachment images let's go to ink let's see what is there in ink again we find lots and lots of data easily available to us and we can go in any of these folders or directory 
so out of this I okay fine so now let's read this one the second exploit which is backup disk closer this 40718 scat 40718 dot yeah so this one says has backup disclosure and then the backup is uh, available at localhost inc and mysql backup so they have given us the hidden directory not the hidden the directory where the backup is easily available so let's go over here and yep we find a backup file so let's just download this and yep i have downloaded this backup file now let's return back to our content and we have a, we had a sign in page in as we had a sign in page over here in this as part so let's try and find some password and a account name so again let's go to downloads and now let's cat out that file the name of the file was mysql backup so mysql backup and this is the backup so let's see if there is something which we can use so let's crep it with password so i did this grep with password is that now only i need to see this i am hoping that i see a password and username in here so so lazy admin is title keyword is keywords description is description admin is manager okay so the manager is the admin and the password is four okay there is a hash here which is four this one does all of this till four this is the hash so let's copy this hash let's see and let's go to hash identifier let me paste this and this is md5 crack station okay so in crack station let me just paste this of course i'm not a robot oops oh nice <laughs> and the password is yep now we also have the password and we have the username like the admin is manager manager so let's go to manager and let's paste in the password remember me not remember me leave it that login yep we are in so good so now let's figure out what we can do so few of the directories we saw over here so few of the directories were these ones so we went to as we went to attachments we went to all of these so again let's go to this one rather than as let's go to inc and in inc i see all of this directories over here so these directories are just like these directories so um, let me make a reverse shell out of some of this here so let me go to ads and let me just try a demo ad hello and please subscribe and let's see what happened okay i hope it is done and again let's just go here and go to inc and i see a folder name as ads which contains my ad so good so now again let's now just create a ad only because i can see the ad folders so in that ads folder i can put a reverse shell so for the reverse shell you can do reverse shell file upload and you can go here not here sorry 
pen test monkey yeah yep if this is the php reverse shell so you can just download this reverse shell and i have it in my system so i'll just go there it's in cd um yeah this one it's this one let me cat it for you yeah this is the reverse shell so in this reverse shell just change this parameter of this ip address put your own ip address in this in this place like i have put my own um, tune zero address like c so sudo i have config do you know and then oops yeah this is the same this one is the same as over here and your desired port so i'll just copy this file from here i'll copy it till this point control shift c copy and i'll paste it here and i'll name it reverse okay and i've done this so now again let's go to inc ads and wow my reverse.php is ready so now if i'll click on this i'll get a reverse shell back so for the reverse shell i need to start listening so netcat dash l v n p one two three four l is for listen v is for our purpose n for numeric only p is for port one two three four now i'm going to click and the very second i click i'll get a reverse shell connection back yep you can see so good now who am i i am www data and my id see i am a very less privileged user but at least i am in their website and now i can control everything so let's go to home directory let's see there is a username as it guy let's go to it guy and over here i can see user.txt now let's see okay so now um, we'll try to be the root user let's do some pri privilege escalation so sudo dash l dash l and we may run this command as any user so we'll run this command as sudo sudo okay so what is this this is a simple perl command of this backup.pl okay there is a file name as backup and it's running it okay so it's just running a file name as backup so let's see what is in this backup file backup.pl okay so what does backup.pl contain it is running the content of this file okay so one file is running content of another file another file is con running the content of one more other file so let's see if i can change this so backup.pl cannot be written by me i am in others group so i am www data and i am in others so i cannot write to this file i can read this file and i can execute this file okay so but where is this changing it's put bring it's like it's bringing value from this file etc copy and then it's doing something okay so let's go to cd etc ls no oh my god and let's cat copy dot py copy dot sh copy dot sh cat copy dot sh yep finally so they have already provided us with a hint 
they have already given us a reverse shell so this is a really nice thing which they have done so we just need to run this reverse shell and that's it everything will be done okay so i ran a reverse shell by mistake okay so let me copy this let me paste it here and let me change this address to my own address so that i get a i know that it is connecting back to my pc so sudo i have conflict do you know and let me just copy this and paste it in here now i'll copy this whole thing and in here i'll paste it to this file so let me see do i have permissions so do i have permissions on copy.sh the answer is yes i belong in others group and i can read it write it and execute i can do anything so let me do the changes so echo and let me end the echo tag and i want this output to go in copy dot sh now let me cat copy dot sh and it has been changed to my address so nice now i can run this command with the sudo tag so sudo and before running this let me just um do this thing let me start my netcat listener netcat dash l v m p and this time the port is 5544 5554 okay 5554 and i am listening and i will just run this command let's see do i have a connection yes i have a connection and who am i i am root and i can just go to cd root and i can just cat out this file and that will be it for both of these questions so i hope you like this video please like share, subscribe and see you next time bye bye